So we're just going to now look at um, other ways of bringing tabular data into um, ArcMap and also um, importing it into geodatabases. Um, there are often times where you may have some data that is purely um, in the form of tables in something like an Excel spreadsheet and there are ways that you can use ArcMap to um, display this information in a more interesting way. Um, particularly if the data that you're using already has some kind of spatial information in it. In the example that we're going to use we've got an Excel spreadsheet which has got a load of um, species records in it and, and at the same time as recording the species they've also recorded the location as a grid reference which means we can simply use the tools inside ArcMap to plot this information spatially. So I'm just going to go through the process of how you import the spreadsheet into a geodatabase and then how we display that information spatially using ArcMap. Um, so the first thing we need to do is go and grab the um, spreadsheet. Um, I've already put it into my original data folder so there it is. It's, um, it's a load of information about um, species that have been recorded on special, special protection areas. If we actually click on the spreadsheet itself, this is just an Excel spreadsheet and what we're seeing here is all the worksheets within the Excel spreadsheet so it's got a whole load of worksheets um, and we can import these in either mul or all at once or just one at a time into our geodatabase. Um, for this example I'm just going to simply import one um, so I'm going to choose the top one from the list and I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to export it to a geodatabase so there you go you've got the option either single or multiple so just, just the one this time um, so we get out this rather familiar looking window now um, so we need to just choose the output location which is where it's going to be put which is going to be our geodatabase um, in this one I'm going to just put it inside my Hadlow geodatabase um, and the only other thing I need to do is, is set the output name for this table so I'm just going to call it birds in this example again down here we have the list of all of the um, the fields already in, in the Excel spreadsheet and again we can decide whether we want to bring all of that information in to the geo database or not and if we don't we can go across here and, and delete specific fields but I'm going to just accept and bring it all in so I'm going to go OK and then we wait for the little confirmation down the bottom here which will then confirm that we've imported the table um, so if we now go and look inside our Hadlow Geo database, uh, we can now see that table there called birds. Um, let's just have a quick look at the table. Um, if I preview the data, here we go. So I mean, it, this will look exactly the same as it does look in in the Excel spreadsheet. And what we're looking for here is the spatial data because that's how um, ArcMap is going to plot it. So you'll notice we've got two columns here. We've got the Eastings and the Northings columns. Those are actually the, the um, grid references, so we've got a 12-figure grid reference um, here. And of course we can use that, we can tell ArcMap to use that information to plot each one of these records individually on a map. So we've now got it inside the geodatabase, so we're going to pop back to ArcMap. I'm just going to remove this layer and I'm going to add a new, well I'm going to add the table. Um, so I'm going to go into my catalogue. I'm going to grab the table. You notice here that the table hasn't appeared so we need to just simply refresh um, the geodatabase by right clicking and going refresh um, and there we go the birds table is now there so I can just drag this across um, and of course it will appear in the layers but of course we don't see the data yet because we haven't actually plotted that information. So because we know we've got those um, Eastings and Northings coordinates in there we can really easily plot this information so if I right click I'm going to do display XY data um, which means I can choose the um, XY and that is the Eastings and the Northings so I'm going to choose Eastings and I'm going to choose Northings um, and I need to make sure that I've got a projected system correct which for this one is, is British National Grid obviously um, don't need to worry about the X field just the two um, X and Y coordinates and then all I need to do is go OK um, and now that has plotted that Excel spreadsheet um, graphically um, in the locations where each of those species records were recorded 
Um, and you can see there we've got this kind of vague shape of the of the, of the British Isles that's appeared. Um, and I can start to, to bring some more information in there and, and make it look slightly more interesting. Um, so I could um, put the um, UK boundary in and with any luck, there we go. We can see all of those records now. So if I go and zoom in to say one of these records here um, over in Sussex and then I click the identify button I can now look at the data that's sitting behind them. So all this data was already in the Excel spreadsheet, and because we've we've used that X, Y, or that Eastings, Northings, it's it's put it's it's created um, a point feature with it, and it's also obviously showing us all the information that would have been in that particular column um, in the Excel spreadsheet. So it's really really quick and simple way to plot um, data, particularly Excel tabular data that already has some sort of locational information inside it. Now made, um, we've produced our map by displaying the X, Y um, coordinates or the Eastings and the Northings. Um, at the moment this is only temporary so it's kind of created this temporary uh, layer here and to make it permanent we need to export the data back into our geo database. Um, so we go down to data, go to export data we want to explore all the features so I'm just going to make sure I put it inside the right geodatabase so I'm going to put it inside the Hadlo geodatabase um, and I'm going to give the file a name so I'm going to call it bird records and again, again I'm going to make sure it's saving it as a file geodatabase feature class and then we're going to just hit save and then we hit OK and it should now do that and export the records um, so it's just saying do I want to add the exported records to my map layer so if I hit yes um, I can now simply delete the bird events which is a temporary file anyway and I can also um, just double check by looking at the attribute table to make sure that all of those same attributes are inside there and if we just have a quick look inside the geodatabase we notice that we now have a, fe a feature class called bird records. Um, so there we go.